I was 21 years old and I was fishing with my 84-year-old grandfather for the first time. We took an hour-long drive from our suburban home to a more desolate part of the state. He always went fishing in this one particular lake that no one knew about, where he always managed to leave with coolers full of fish. My grandpa was a hardcore fisher, I'll say that right now. I never even knew there were different terms for the steps of fishing. He was throwing terms at me that I didn't understand left and right, even during the car ride there, which finally ended when we veered off the main quiet road and down about two miles of dirt trails. He parked his jeep at the side of the trail, and from there we lugged the small boat through some dense forests. At 84 years old, my grandpa was no weakling. In fact, I was becoming exhausted from carrying the boat, but I didn't want to show him that by asking to stop for a break, because that would just be humiliating if he could lift it longer than I could. I'll skip ahead to when we were actually sitting in the boat fishing. So he just got done showing me how to actually get the line and the hook in the water. After that he didn't say a thing. He seemed to be concentrating really hard on what he was doing. I turned around to ask him a question. He seemed to be leaning in, focusing on something in the water. He didn't respond to my question, so I just resumed concentration on the water. I turned around like 20 seconds later out of curiosity and he was leaning even closer now. I felt something was wrong with him. I put my hand on his shoulder, and that's when I heard splashing sounds. My grandpa seemed to push something back into the water, and then yelled at the top of his lungs for me to paddle as fast as I could back in the direction we came. My heart was racing. I didn't know what happened, but I knew it was something bad. As soon as the boat hit the dirt, my grandpa was moving as fast as he could off the boat and back to the car. We left the boat and equipment behind. When we got to the car, he stepped on it down the trails. All the while I was screaming at him to answer me, to tell me what happened. He seemed to have to gather his thoughts before finally, ten minutes into the drive, saying, I was looking down into the water. I knew I saw something. It kept getting closer to the surface. It became clearer as it got closer. And I could swear, I saw what looked like a face. And then it got even closer. And as I was leaning in to get a better look, something reached out and grabbed a hold of me. That was the most I could get out of him until a few weeks later when he tried his best to describe what he saw. And from the description he gave, I remember it sounding almost like he was describing a human face. Almost. Perhaps I remember best his single sentence. All I know is, it wasn't no fish. <laughs>